outscore the number of military ships. Easy purchase, but in small doses. Right. So to lure the Navy out of hiding, it's best to cause a bit of mischief. Catch a few small fish to attract the big ones. That's right. So plunder and pillage as you see Fair fit, hope. Captain Kenway. Military class brig on the horizon. Good eye, man. Are you ready for this, Kenway? She won't go down without an honest fight. Who's up for taking that brig, lads? Shout die! Aye. That's a sound I like to hear. Pipe to quarters! All hands to cannon! Careful around the Navy. They're as likely to ram you as fire a broadside. Let's test those powder barrels again, shall we? Aye, good thinking. Ram us, Captain! Fire! Oh, my God. 
That was a rumble, by God. How do we fare? A fine purchase, no mistake. Now, I think it's time to lay low and drive our way back into secrecy. Agreed. So, how do we get rid of this notoriety we've stirred up? Money, my boy. A well-placed bribe to the right government official. To see the military off your tail. Right, let's do that. I'll need to meet these good Samaritans at some point. Smart thinking. Awaiting orders! We're ready, sir! Fire! Let me hear some shots, Captain! Cannon ready! It is firing! I think we've lost them, sir. Brief the topsail to gallants! Fall down and clue up! Furl those men! Captain, need to go underground? ¿Qué puedo hacer hoy por usted? en otro momento. Thank you. 
You're a wonder, Kenway. You've a knack for this kind of work. It ain't work if you love it. Ah, ah, spot. But I ain't doing this forever, lads. Only until I get enough coin to buy some land and influence back home. Jesus, will you listen to your tripe? Still dreaming all about that strumpet back in England when you could have any better you wanted here and now. Ah, such lofty goals for you, gents. And here I thought I was in the company of scoundrels. Fine purchase today. What's the crew's mood? All smiles and no teeth. And there's a few talking about meeting with Master Kid to steal from a nearby plantation. Plantation? That's ambitious. Profitable too, if we can manage it. Aye. It's a good idea. Why, look, it's the bastard son of the late William Kidd. Still a mere boy, and yet ten times the demon his father was. Fancy seeing you here, Kenway. Still looking sleek and mean. Did you steal that costume from a dandy in Havana? No, sir. I found this on a corpse. One that was walking about and talking shite to my face only moments before. Huh. So, what's this I hear about a planned raid on a plantation? Not keeping secrets from me, are you? Not very well. Every day, schooners packed with sugar sail past, coming from plantations nearby. Most times, they stop here, sell off a few crates. There's one man visiting today that had earned you a fine profit. So if you'd like to rob his plantation, I'll point him out. I would. Is it a Mr. Beckford that owns this plantation? That's the man. He owns dozens round these islands. And he's bloody rich. Just the sort I like to see robbed. His agent is around here somewhere. Find and follow him, and he'll lead you straight to your prize. 
of your enterprise here, I understand that you are men of discernment. Burford, Manning, to me. We've done with this place. Aye, sir. What's our course? We'll return to the plantation and there take stock of our inventory. It was a good harvest this year. You may not talk so loud, sir. This isn't anything like a friend before I can. Nonsense, man. I had a delightful conversation with the chap just now. We came to fight and understand. As you say, sir. All up and unfurl, boys. It's going home. the look of a man crafting a bold idea. Look I've seen before. You mark well, Ade. I've just overheard one of the Beckford's men talking grandly about his plantation and all the cargo he's keeping there. And it gave me the idea that I might take these goods off him and sell them off for a better price than he'd ever ask. <laughs> ah, a man of vision. I like this idea. Rousseau, let's move! Close down! Man your sheets! Our force patrol these waters closely, Captain! Hold on, there's trouble afoot. I see them! man's working for Peter Beckford's people. Do you know them? The Beckfords and their sugar empire. Aye. The Beckfords and the Draxes. 
I never worked at plantations, but I knew their name was from hearing other men curse But you worked the plantation, huh? A modest one, I as a striker in the boiling house. Boiling house? Was it water they boiled? Or something else? Cane juices. It's a hard process making sugar. Dangerous too. Must be why it fetches such a dear price. What's it like? Toiling on a plantation day and night. Well, with the cane sugar cut and harvested, it's run between two metal rollers across the juice from the plant. After collecting the juice, it was time to boil away the waters from the sugar. This we did in Tatches make copper. But let me tell you, brother, boiling sugar is near the hottest thing on earth. Just a touch on the skin will stick like bird lime and burn on, leaving a terrible scar. Jesus. Sir, there's Luke floating here. risk to anchor too close. Soldiers roving the plantation will catch us for sure. Drop here then and sneak ashore. We'll look after the jackal. such disarray. Bit of a do, sir, that's all. It's Wilmington's birthday. And you saw fit to get pickled on duty. No bother, sir. We have everything sorted. We'll soon see, won't we? For you must double the watch this evening. Double, sir? Whatever for? I believe I was followed here. By pirates, if my eyes on me. Though the ship was uncommonly large for such rascals. Certainly wasn't slavers, though. Not a ship that size. In any case, double the watch. And keep your damned eyes wide for anything suspicious. You up there! Look alive, man! You've a job to do! Apologies, sir. I'll keep my eyes peeled. What the hell is going on here today? How do you suppose you'll be able to ring that alarm if you're pissed drunk and barely able to stand? Speak to the man in charge here. I require entrance to the warehouse. Which of you dogs has the key to the warehouse, huh? Is there no one over here? Fetch me the warehouse key, if you please. What was that, Johnson? The key, goddammit! Someone find me the key! You there! Hey! Get him! Hey! Get out here! Rubber! Get to the task in hand. Stop 
you! Get out of those bushes! Let me out. We're not losing that bastard! I think I can hit him! Bastards in the sights! What? No! Get behind him! We all want to get to our point. You! Stop! <clears throat> he thinks he can get away! Shit! <laughs> Captain has the helm. Loose and swim to! Ground on every inch of seven!
but me! Problem is in tops! Every... Cliff ahead, sir! Shorten sail! Kill off the squall! Fall, fall for all your work! Here's to our pirate republic, lads. We're prosperous and free and out the reach of kings, clergy, and debt collectors. Near 500 men now pledge their allegiance to the brethren of the coast in Nassau. Not a bad number. Truth. Yet we lack sturdy defenses. If the king were to attack the town, he'd trample us. Then let us find the observatory. If it does what these Templars claim, we'll be unbeatable. Not that twaddle again, can we? That's a story for schoolboys. I mean, proper defenses. Steal a galleon, shift all the guns to one side. Would make a nice ornament for one of our harbors. It will not be easy to steal a full Spanish galleon. Have you one in mind? I do, sir. And I'll show ya. She's a fussock, she is. Fat. And slow. Jackdaw handles nice. Pinched her from the Spanish, was it? Aye. In the midst of a hurricane. Hey, Just before the treasure fleet was smashed against the shore. Was the hall aboard as rich as men are saying? A thousand times that. I reckon a million pounds worth of reals was sunk that day. Devil love a hurricane. Might have a dive there one day. See what we can rummage up. Diving them wrecks would be a nice change of pace for us. No need for violent actions against merchants and such. Well, that's some soft talk coming from a pirate. And as it happens, I mostly agree. We'll save the clashing of cutlasses for the military. And them that get in our way. Easy as she goes. No telling what you may find out here. Like staring through a waterfall. Don't saw your breeches, lads. I got this. A monster, look at the size of her. Aye, and we'd not last long face to face with her. Hear that, Kenway? Keep your distance. We'll strike when fortune favors us. Under cover of darkness, most likely. Aye, it may come to that. Loose all, let's move! All sails loose and stay 
Double blowing in! Man of war, sir! Spaniards! They're all alone, sir! For us, sir. That's a man of war, sir. Their ancient system. friend of yours. Not a man I call a friend. But we've been doing this kind of work for so long, I can't help but respect the man. Look, they fire mortars, Captain! Every Vain slinking off with his tail between his legs. That's good news for us. Send these interlopers to hell! Down to the drink! Down to the drink! 
a drink! She's sailing for that island. I know the place. A natural stronghold used by a French captain named Ducasse. Julian Ducasse, the Templar. Named right. Didn't know he had a title. I know the man. And if he sees my ship, he'll know it from his time in Havana, meaning he may wonder at who's sailing her now. I can't risk that. And I don't want to lose that galleon. Let's think on. Maybe wait till it's dark before hopping aboard. <laughs> 